it. Uh, hi, sir. How are you doing today? <laughs> Listen, Kate, I'm really sorry, but I just got off work, and I know you're looking for money. Oh, uh, well, you know, actually, uh, we're looking for support. Um, did you know California is in a drought? Listen, buddy, I know where this is going. I'm not going to sign anything. I'm not going to join anything. Oh, uh, well, you'll be surprised at to um, how little of an uh, impact it you could have. Are you high? Uh, what? Are you stoned right now? Um, no. Uh, why, why would you say such a thing? I don't know. You're a young kid with a hippie cause here. Your eyes look a little red. Oh, well, I just get really bad allergies. Oh, and, okay. And I wouldn't get high at work. God damn it! Excuse me? I don't know. I'm just bummed. I've just been looking for weed all week. My car expired. My dealer's out of town. My son claims he doesn't have any. Huh. Flying little shit. Hmm. Anyway, well, look, I'm, hey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you, you know? I just thought I'd ask the, uh, hippie college kid who's knocking at my door, but, you know, fuck me, right? <laughs> uh, sir, um, I'm gonna level with you. What? I am stoned. Really? And I have weed on me right now. <laughs> I knew it. And I have a quota I need to reach. All right, what are you proposing? Okay, how about this? For a one-time donation of only $35, I will roll you up a joint and smoke you out. Or for the low, low price of $10 a month for a minimum of six months, I will smoke you out that original joint and leave you two additional beautiful joints for you to enjoy on your own leisure time. All right, fuck it, I'll do it. Got two joints, $10 a month, six months, all right? Your generosity is Greatly appreciate it, sir. Ah, I've never purchased drugs on installments before. <laughs> you won't even notice it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in, buddy. Thanks, man. Dude, you got a wonderful place here. Oh, thanks. I can't believe you sold that guy weed for a donation. Hey, this drought ain't gonna fix itself, son. Shut up. You don't care about the droughts. You're right. I don't. I care about making money and reaching quota, and so should you if you want to keep this job. Well, forgive me for actually caring about the issue. Dude, this is the driest year on record since 1885. And how much money have you raised so far? Exactly. Someone's coming. Hello. It's just such bullshit. We're about to go from an extreme drought to an exceptional drought, and no one I talk to gives a shit. Well, maybe you can't raise anything because you keep bumming people out. What are you doing? What? I'm hungry. You want one? No, I don't want one. Haven't you read our packet? Almond farmers are the second highest perpetrators of irresponsible water use in California. One of those little almonds there takes a gallon of water to produce. Really? They taste so dry. God damn it! How are you better at this job than me? Because I'm nice, you ass. And people like me. And I don't drought shame everyone I talk to. Yeah, and you sell them drugs, too. Hey, whatever it takes to save Mother Earth. All right, come on, let's keep going. I gotta make some money here. All right, I'll take the evens, you take the odds. I like my odds. Good evening, ma'am. How are you today? Oh, wow, ma'am, please oh, don't. I'm sorry. Good evening, miss. How okay, are you doing today? I guess miss is a little bit Did you better. know California only has one year left of water? Did you also know that 80% of the water used in California is for agricultural purposes? Wow, I, I did not know that. I always thought the drought was because I take really long showers. <laughs> well, it's not. Four-fifths of the entire United States produce comes from the state of California. Our environment is not set up to harness that kind of venture. Oh, wow, that is terrible. Oh, listen, I really appreciate what you're doing out here, and I would love to help you, but I really, I just can't right now, so I'm so sorry. Wait, wait, wait what, what do you mean? Excuse me? What, so you, you don't care about the drought? No, of course, of course I do. Um, I was just making that long shower joke to be funny, but no, we... We take our water use here very seriously. Okay, well, I'm trying to tell you that it's not home use that's the problem. It's corporate farming. 
Okay. Well, if that's the case, then I feel like if I'm responsible for me and my family, that that's the best way I can help. What are you talking about? I'm literally coming to your door telling you that that's not the way to help. So what? Say it. You don't care about the drought. No, no, I, I absolutely care about the drought, but I really don't appreciate your tone. Well, I don't appreciate people who say that they care about things, but then they don't want to do shit about them. Oh, listen, I'm sorry. I've just, I've been up since 6 a.m. working, and now I have to go pick up my son from kindergarten, so I have a lot on my plate right oh, now. Oh, yeah, totally. It is so inconvenient that huge companies are draining our water for profit. You know, I am so sorry that, that our resources are being raped during your busy work schedule, because it's just water, you know? It's not a big deal, huh? We can waste it, huh? It doesn't matter. We don't need it. It doesn't make plants grow. It doesn't feed people nourishment. It's one of the basic elements of human life. Listen, you little shit. You think you're so fucking important, saving the world door to door. Well, guess what? You don't know shit. What are you, 20, 21? You're getting your jollies off going door to door, guilt tripping people who have real fucking problems. I am a single fucking mother trying to pay a fucking mortgage, trying to have a fucking career of my own, and my dad is really, really sick. I'm sorry. Fuck you. Do you want to buy any weed? Oh! Oh! You better get that fucking ball! You know what? I think I'm just going to quit before they can fire me. Dude, don't say that. You'll get better. Better what? Getting rejected? Look, man, we need people like you out here passionate about the issue. No, dude, we need people like you out here who can raise some money for the issue, man. I didn't raise a single dollar the entire day. You want a sugar cookie? Sure. Where'd you get this? <laughs> so. Some sweet old lady gave them to me. She also became a monthly subscriber. God damn it. Hey, how about you take her donation to reach quota? I made like over 200 bucks today. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's nice, dude, but I'm still not doing anything to help the issue. Dude, you know none of the money is going to the cause, right? It's just going to pay us. The whole system is fucked. Look, the quota, $75, right? We get paid $15 an hour for five hours. That's like 75 bucks. But what the hell are we even doing out here? I don't know. It's an easy summer job. We get to be outside, smoke weed all day. It's kind of interesting too. You know, I didn't know a single thing about the drought before we got hired. Yeah, me either. You know, most of the people I talked to today had no clue as well. See, you're raising awareness. And you're raising money. Together we are making a difference. I should get Ferno a call. I'm gonna need to pick up some more weed before tomorrow. Definitely. Hey, what's that sound? I think I left the shower running. What? All day? Well, I turned it on this morning to warm it up. You said we were running late, so we left. Oh, shit. Well, you know, it's mainly the farmers who are the problem. Just lay off the almonds for a while, we should be fine. <laughs> 